Tesla big batteries. Guys, I absolutely love it when I hear stories like this. So I, I don't know why, but I get a bit of a kick over it. I hope you do too. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Tesla has been part of lots of big battery projects, even though Tesla doesn't actually um, complete the project themselves. They're often the supplier. Here in Australia, we have quite a few big batteries. Most of them will last for between two to four hours. However, yet another new big battery, which is being built using uh, the longest duration battery storage in Australian history, I believe, is being built using Tesla Megapack batteries. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Solar has transformed the grid in California. No, no question. But here's the thing. A lot of solar was being wasted in California, heaps of it. I mean, during the middle of the day, often there was just all this excess energy. People weren't using it. It was being wasted. Now you guys have some of the biggest battery packs in the world that are soaking up that excess solar during the peak time for the grid during 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the evening. Everyone gets home, the sun goes down, and then people have to start using fossil fuels for electricity. Well, that's where these battery packs have become just revolutionary in America, in, in California in particular. Now the number one source of electricity in California during the peak period is actually battery energy. So it's really projects like this. I mean, we, it's sort of become fun to hate on Tesla, but Tesla have made this kind of stuff popular, these big batteries. Um, and in fact, I often tell the story of what happened here in Adelaide here in Australia. In, in fact, South Australia, it's the, the largest city in the world where solar and wind, but predominantly solar, have become the, well, basically um, the first place in the world where it's been proven that a grid can run exclusively off solar, wind, and batteries without the need for hydropower or any other form of power. Anyhow, in that grid, that grid used to be a complete nightmare. And Elon Musk came along and he said, uh, he tweeted, I think, of course, you can imagine Elon Musk, of course, he would have tweeted. Anyhow, he tweeted that he said he would um, install a battery that would help to fix the grid and he would build that well tesla would build that in 100 days and if tesla didn't finish it in 100 days then the battery would be free um it was mocked that project was completely mocked by a prime minister he said it was idiocy it was a joke it shouldn't be he called it a big banana he said the big banana was a big joke he made a big joke out of it but actually i think he just didn't understand the science behind it. he didn't understand how the battery would work that battery was built and that battery is so financially viable it actually replaced pika plants replaced, I believe, a gas peaker plant, which was costing people enormous sums for the electricity. Subsequently, um, the price of electricity went down there. Um, and also, that battery was so successful that the company, I believe is a French company who actually owned the battery, uh, they doubled that size. So Tesla built that battery to being double the size because it was so financially viable for that state. And it helped them to fix their problems, which was, their problem was that during the peak period, um, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m. on hot days when it was 40 degrees Celsius. Everyone gets home, would turn the air conditioners on, and they'd have blackouts. The entire grid would just collapse. It couldn't handle it. Well, they don't have that anymore. It was completely solved. The German energy giant RWE has pressed go, says reneweconomy.com.au, on its proposed eight-hour battery in southwest New South Wales here in Australia, and has decided to use Tesla and its megapack batteries for the 400 megawatt hour project. The 50 megawatt, 400 megawatt hour Limondale battery, which will be built next to RWE's existing 249 megawatt Limondale solar farm near Bell Ronald, will be the first eight hour battery to be built in Australia. And here's what the company said, as a battery storage pioneer, we develop, build and operate innovative and competitive battery storage systems in Europe and the US and soon in Australia. We look forward to continuing to work with all stakeholders to help realize the country's renewable energy goals. Now here in Australia, we have the same issue that you guys had in California. We have huge amounts of solar. In fact, there is well over a million solar panels installed just on roofs here in Australia. I think there's actually potentially 2 million now, but that's just on, you know, just people, homeowners roofs. But a lot of the solar is definitely being wasted um, during the middle of the day. This is often too much energy. It's often too much sun. 
and we're, we're not storing it efficiently. It's projects like this that enable us to kind of transform our grid in the same way that California has. Another company called Arc Energy is building an enormous 275 megawatt, 2200 megawatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery at Myrtle Creek, which is also here in New South Wales. Another company um, is actually building a 49 megawatt, 392 megawatt hour Goulburn River battery in the Hunter Valley. All of these batteries are being built in New South Wales and all of them, I believe, are being built next to solar farms. So yes, um, the world's grids are changing really, really quickly. And I still believe that it won't be long before we're going to start decommissioning coal power plants and even gas power plants, particularly Pika plants, but normal power plants will be decommissioned really, really quickly. And I made a video recently, guys, on what happened in the UK. They actually turned off the last coal power plant in the UK, officially turned it off because it was simply no longer economically viable. I'll put a link in the description to that video. Thanks for watching.